All right, today we have something pretty exciting. Well, I'm excited. Um, don't judge me. I'm excited because I've received a package. Your good old FedEx. Um, and what this actually is, is a new limited edition watch from Mr. Jones Watches. Now, I've done a video before about a limited edition one that I got called the Step Right Up. I'm sure this is yes. <coughs> actually <laughs> live on camera unboxing. I'll edit this a bit, but I'm sure this is the watch. A cardboard box. Luxury. You're going to get the first look. It's sort of an unboxing, but I'm pretty keen to get into the actual watches themselves. I received an email. Um, announcing the new limited edition Mr. Jones watch um, that was released last week. I got an email um, and jumped on it straight away when Mr. Jones announced this new limited edition watch and I got two of them <laughs> because this time I thought I'm not going to get caught out like last time. I've missed a few of these limited edition ones that they've released um, and Last time I got a step right up, and I was lucky to get it. I think it was kind of the last one going. Um, this time, uh, it sold out just as fast as all their other limited editions. They only do 100 of these watches worldwide, and that's all they ever do. Occasionally, they'll re-release their limited editions with a different design, and they become mass production, but um, the limited editions are 100. This one is to celebrate the... Mars Rover that's landed recently and it looked really cool. Um, I added it to the cart. By the time I went to check out, it had already been sold. Went back, added another one, and I had to kind of keep ahead of it because I couldn't even check out fast enough to get them. But I did get two of them. And as is usual with their packaging, I think their packaging is the same for all their watches now. You get it in this really nice, solid, it's cardboard, but it almost feels like wood. And there it is, the Far Out by, I'll put some details up from the website, but this is the Far Out by Paul Wardsky, who is their print specialist, number 12 of 100. Um, I'll put some details, I think you guys know Mr. Jones Watch, but it, it, they're a London-based firm that does these really funky watches um, that are kind of art pieces rather than you know traditional watches with traditional ways of telling time their watches always have some kind of really cool element to them about how you read them and this one's no different you'll see so there's the paperwork in the box and there's the actual watch the fire out Again, I'll put some stuff up from the website, but there's a little brief on it. A watch to celebrate the exploration of Mars. Far Out was inspired by the Perseverance rover that recently landed on Mars and the extraordinary footage it has been sending back to Earth. A bit of plastic on it, and I'll remove the plastic, but if I can give you guys a look here. Wow, nice. Okay. The dial's beautiful. I'll get you some close-ups to try to fix the lighting, but also take the plastic off. Uh, okay, tight fit. <laughs> nice protective foam box, actually. Uh, this is the same as the Step Right Up box, so I think that's good. They're reusing. Um, okay, let's see if we can get a look at this. It's actually completely encased in plastic protection. Uh, this is a stainless steel, what do they call this thing, mesh? Yeah, stainless steel mesh bracelet. Um, I actually have never had a watch before that uses this kind of bracelet. Uh, interesting, it's got, I don't know if this, oh, I see. It's probably standard, but I've never used a bracelet like this before. These are notches to uh, adjust this, so you 
like the holes in a normal watch pen, I guess. Um, so what have we got? Like plastic, you can come off. Mr. Jones watch logo. This is a black PVD, I guess PVD stainless steel case. Um, we've got a signed crown there, Mr. Jones watch. This is this is beautiful, so shiny. Bound to be a fingerprint magnet, but it has I guess it's kind of like an etched pattern on it. It looks it looks a bit gold, maybe silver, maybe goldish. MJW Far Out by Paul Wardsky with the pattern that's on the dial and the number of the limited edition. Made in London 116-01. Assume that's 116 stainless. And their website on the back. Uh, quick release. This is, um, I believe they're 18 mil from memory. 18 mil lugs. And a quick release there for swapping out straps. These things tend to be strap monsters, actually. It's a very nice case. You can see the detail there. I mean, high polished all around on the case, but the crown there is a, like a, I guess, recessed sort of engraved, leaving the MJW higher and high polish, and it's sort of raising above the the more kind of brushed background there. Beautiful. Now, plastic come off. Go. There's that beautiful dial. Wow, there's a real depth to it. Uh, you've got... A, the, the red underneath is actually from a, like an aerial photo, satellite photo of the Martian surface. And the two, they're the two moons. So you've got the hour, hour hand moon, the hour moon, which is the smaller blue one, which is underneath that. I guess, I guess, actually, I don't really know how they do it. There's certainly a multiple levels to this dial. You've got the, the dial surface underneath, it's the red. Then you've got the, the blue moon that's under that orbit pattern of the second hand moon. Second hand moon, which is printed again with different inks. These are all hand printed. It's just gorgeous, really. There's a lot of depth to it. I don't know if you can capture that in, or if I can capture that in the video, but you can see where the, I guess, what you call the hands are actually rotating around is, uh, you know, standing up quite proud of the dial surface itself. It's gorgeous. This feels great, this, uh, this mesh, and we'll put it on in a minute. Um, and then at the end of that is, again, I guess PVD coated uh, Mr. Jones Watch branded clasp there. Again, etched. Beautiful fine etching. It's really nice. It's quite light. Um, I'll put some measurements and specs up, but the... The watch itself is nice and light. It's beautiful. It's not sized yet. I'll, I'll have a go at it. As I said, I'm I'm new to this style of bracelet, so I'm not 100 percent sure how to do it. <laughs> but I'll I'll size it up. It's gorgeous. It's um very dressy. I think part of that is the mesh bracelet but I think you know it's black it's a black watch it's just got a funky dial it's certainly going to be a conversation piece lovely watch oh wow okay there's the that's interesting the detail there I thought the um, the moons would just rotate separately, but actually the entire wow, this is cool. The entire it must have like a clear 
dial above the dial because the whole spiral spiral rotates which gives it a very interesting effect um, it's almost like it's I hope the camera can capture that it's almost like it's sort of zooming in and out when you look at it it's quite quite sort of hypnotic like, like the time machine TV series it's quite a hypnotic sort of effect really cool the camera is sort of blowing out the red as well it's really um quite a, a rich deep blood red 